What's the oldest one you have in the cellar then? Well, <clears throat> oldest uh, 1863, I think. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. It's a great wine. Um, I think we have one Demijohn uh, bottled in 1905 or something like that. Who made that? Well, I'm the fifth generation, but uh, must have been the first one, uh, which is quite amazing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it must be. What does it taste like? Um, it's quite perfect. Uh, I haven't tasted it for a long time, but uh, it's a big wine, but it's very refined and it's, it's, it's got this perfect um, vinagrino, you know, this volatility which makes it balanced. So it's not too sweet, but it's, it's highly concentrated. I mean, if we were to open a, a Demijohn now, you know, five minutes later, the whole room would smell beautifully. Have you ever thought about bottling it? Well, I think we should do something very special about it. So, bottle it in special bottles, make it, uh, make it really, really a unique uh, bottling. I think port sort of deserves that. Yes, port is, I think, the most underrated uh, great wine in the world. did for Neeport is that we, we designed a total of six decanters. You have one unique piece uh, and you have uh, five others that um, will represent different members of the family, the different five generations. In order to be able to produce such a piece and to have all this motif inside the decanter, which is kind of working on the empty space basically, we use a very old technique which also goes pretty well with the idea of um, of heritage. It's one of the oldest glass production technique, which is what we call the lost wax. result is a unique and exceptional uh, piece of art that will hold an extraordinary and possibly the oldest wine in the world. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. You have been so powerful, beautiful, intense. And, and the volatility is totally under control. There's nothing sticking out. It's perfection.
to the La Ligue Cantor, your 1863 Port Gata The perfect wine, a hundred points. It might be one of the rarest, finest wines left in the world. Yep.